all right so today we are doing something really cool building a detail 3d scene from scratch i will take you through the whole process uh, step by step and share some tricks let's jump straight into the blender so first we need to open a blender interface then as I have mentioned in previous videos we need to add a body from blender kit for a real scale measurement yeah it's for a real life measurement uh, and it's very important before you make any 3d environment so moving to the tutorial so first we gonna start with creating the ground what uh, will I do I will add a plane then and make sure we need to make a realistic gown uh, so first select the plane and scale it as a ground then subdivide it i usually do 50 or 60 uh, it depend on your environment uh, detail you can go more or but i usually do 60 or 50 uh, then go to the edit mode and shape to the plane into a ground from by turning on the proportional editing on the top corner then press G uh, and slowly shape entire ground. And one thing you can break down this project file easily by going on my gumroad page so do visit and learn it's link in the description so where we are uh, okay so now i have prepared the ground so moving to the next part uh, modeling a petrol pump uh, so i i decided to make a petrol pump on the dirty like uh, the last of us uh, reference after this we will create a petrol pump so add the cube according to the scale uh, of a simple human body place it on the ground and shape and then shape it you can use a reference you must use it uh, so that the accuracy will be better then i'm making an old petrol pump based on my reference uh, i already told you the last of us uh, f series or last of us game there, there as my reference Uh, so base on my reference but it will be slightly different uh, some walls roofs and pillars all these are model to models took time to be ready so i can't show everything in detail uh, that's why moving to the next step uh, is adding a lighting and lighting is very important for the any major environment or any scene you make okay so and as soon as the modeling of our petrol pump is done we will add lighting actually we can add lighting now but we won't be exact the final lighting will be added after the entire scene is completed go to the material property go to the world properties and click on color and add a sky texture so it's look a bit bright so you need to go to the render properties scroll down and you will find the color management uh, from there uh, so decrease the contrast so that will be the lighting doesn't look uh, too bright so the lighting is done you can go really deep into the lighting but uh, i want to go into that much detail so lighting is finished next tip is adding a texture and texture is more most important part of the all but i especially i use a blender kit for texture go simply go to the click on material select object and click to the material uh, automatically to the texturing but i uh, this time i use blender kit also and the google images means the plain textures so to adding a texture go to the shader mode select the wall go to the shader mode and principal psd app and press ctrl plus t a pop-up will be open then choose a texture you downloaded from google or for example i search a dirty wall texture and download it then if it doesn't look good uh, or accurate for that 
state the area and go to the UV editor. Uh, reselect the wall, go to the edit mode and select the area where we want to go uh, look set texture. Okay adjust it according to the texture so it match realistically and just i am just like i am doing and yes uh, you can also use a blender kit the link in the description check it out using it's a simple after you downloading and installing just select the object where you want the texture then in blender kit go to the material section search for the texture you want and select it a bump texture will be added automatically simple so check out the link in the description so like this uh, I have added texture for all objects one by one I make uh, the wall and petrol pump also the ground and all the objects all are ready now including the pillars other walls speaker breakdown uh, breakers roads wires some boards etc uh, yeah one thing a uh, boards I downloaded from Google okay and like the uh, like I tell you already that how you to put the textures on from download it in Google so use this step the ground mainly it took that from blender kit and the ground was ready uh, the textures was ready the next step is adding a grass and trees is the most important part because without grass and without trees uh, our environment is not look good so next we will add a grass and trees okay it's the same stuff you just need to show some creativity many people ask about g scatter so so here it is first i will add a grass to the plane example the ground then pin that the ground in g scatter g scatter then reselect the grass in g scatter click on the plus icon and grass will be scattered all over the ground just make sure your computer can handle it then go down and adjust the scale or distribution in okay scale or distribution in the add layer section go to the wet paint oh uh, click on the add layer section and here is a wet paint click on it and increase the strength of wet paint and paint on the areas where you want the grass to appear randomly that's it so in this way I have all added a grass and trees one by one using the same steps watch carefully you can also add uh, this type of grass and trees and yeah I add uh, one more grass is hanging grass is my especially my name I don't know about it's called IV I think so which is called IV just add it and will be automatically take a shape of, of any object you want just imp uh, just append just go to the files and click on the append button and select uh, this add-on I will link in the description you can download it and select it and it give you automatically shape of your object and you can slightly the change locations or shape I will give some final touches after that I made a simple uh, animation it's very simple animation you can watch any videos on YouTube um, it's very simple and the scene will look like this so thank you so much for watching the video till the end and for all the support and yes don't forget to check out the blender kill link in the description also the follow me on instagram i will upload some interesting content there too and also my gumroad page and thank you so much milte next video mein. till then and bye